In the previous episode, we joined the Western Empire as a mercenary for 210 dinars per influence. We fought at the Siege of Kuyas and won. Hired Hans Larsen and now employ seven companions in total. Fought our first noble battle and won, and raided our first village. How many ticks are they going to let us get away with? No, nope, there's one. We got to get out of here. Actually, we can go to Amatadis. It's really close, and we just took it, so. And they don't need prisoners either, but let's just get rid of them. And upgrades? There's quite a few upgrades. I have a feeling... Yeah, the pine darts got, got tossed, so that's good. Not quite as much loot as I was hoping for. Only 1,200. But we'll pick up... We have another four influence waiting to, to convert. Oh, and our mercenary contract went down. It's only 180 now. So they adjusted it. Cheap bastards. And we have quite a bit of money. I think it might be worth it to, to upgrade our mount. So we could take the Cantarian Charger, the Charger, or the Palmation. Obviously, the Palmation would be the creme de la creme, but I don't think we need to go quite that high. These both do 12 charge damage. Looks like one's got a little bit more maneuverability and 10 more hit points. Probably not worth it for another 700 dinars. Let's just go with the Cantarian Charger. We'll go this slight discount route. And who wants to use that horse? Yeah, somebody used it. Nice, and we're left with the saddle horse. We'll sell it back. I'm kind of curious to see how much influence we get from defeating these uh, alleyway bandits. So let's do backstreet. There's only eight there. Wow, look how foggy it is. Dang, that looks cool. All right, Magnus. I'm still pretty injured, so you got to help us out here, man. Nice. Good. You can have the rest. Show us his boss. Ooh. Well, that's all right. You survived. Eight on six. So we, we're at that point where we outnumber these people now. Oh, yeah. Get him on the stairs. But we're not going to quite make it. All right. We'll help with the main guy. and You guys can have the rest. Looking good. They're, they're holding... Not really holding the formation that well, but they are... Looks like their defense is still pretty decent. So who's the hero? Just throw him. Wow, with three. And 4.7 influence. I mean, that's almost the same that we got fighting the village. But it's a lot less risk because it's way less people. I don't think we get as good a, of loot, though. The loot was pretty good. Yes, yeah, so I still think the village is, is going to be the way to go. All right, let's head back out. I kind of don't want to go up that way. There's not a whole lot of room to maneuver. Now, we can't pick on villagers. We don't have the same code of ethics as we did in the last campaign. We're definitely raiding people. Oh man, look at this heavy rain. Yeah, we're going to do this one without the HUD. Well, they're, they're defending. They're throwing javelins back. See if we can pick off the guys not, not paying attention. That was a headshot. I don't think there's a whole lot of need to, to charge through the bunch when we could just pick them off on the outside. Our guys will charge through once in a while. Oh, this guy's spear brace. He was walking with the spear brace. That's kind of cool. That's an advanced technique. Oh, this guy's running. Can't allow that. Can't allow that either. Oh, get in there. Once our guys start to rear up. Oh, actually, you know, I think they're all running. Let's do some baseball. Alright, 47 damage on that. 54 damage, just... Not great. There we go. That's about what I thought it'd be. I didn't lose anybody. Almost four influence. Like I said, not a big deal. Didn't cost us anything. We got not the greatest loot. And we are a little bit slowed. Uh, we've got enough to get away from this person, though. Let's go turn in our prisoners. 61. Basically nothing. We should have quite a bit of loot from that last one that we can sell. So let's get rid of a lot of this stuff. A little bit of an upgrade on the shield, so let's let this other one go. Yeah, not bad. 4,100 bucks. That's actually quite a bit, especially considering we already got, oh, was it four? So that's about 720. Three, yeah, almost five grand. Picked up level 125. We're probably going to be less than half hit points a lot of the times, so we'll take Berserker. 
Uh, above 90% is pretty hard to do. And we get a big level up here, Roggenwald, level 8. So I believe he's the highest companion, which makes sense. He was our first. Bjorn, level 7, he's actually right behind him. Yeah, right behind him. Now we get to figure out where else we're going to put these points. And uh, for the combatants, I think it's pretty obvious we go Endurance. Just because these three are all going to be used. Let's go ahead and put that into Polearm. And that'll boost him up to 128. And did we take any damage? Not really. So we can go right back out again. Like I said, really what we need to do is boost up some levels, earn some money, start stacking up that cash. I think once we get to maybe close to 200k, we can really expand our party. I don't want to get too big too fast, because that, that would be a bit of an issue. All right, Magnus hit level 7. So that's going to be another level of athletics. So it puts him at 128. Man, we are just gaining levels left and right. So I'm going to call this guy Strom from now on. Strom. So Strom gained level 4, so we can put the final point into Vigor. Final point into One-Handed. Puts him at 152. And back on the road. I think we can probably find... Let's see if we can find some low levels. If not, we can keep picking on those villager parties, because that, that's easy rating for us. We don't want to take anything too big a risk. Yeah, see, 40 Militia is too much. I think somewhere in the 20s. Mid mid twenties is probably about where we can we cut off. Wow, another level, Hans Larsen. Now we're getting a ton of skills. It looks like it's at trickle down. A lot of two handed charm, two handed. Oh, let's look at this. Yeah, there's a lot here. Really like that mod. And it's level three. And like I said before, we're we're still building up this guy's one handed. So let's put that in. That puts him at one twenty. And we could probably pick off some of these bandit groups. Actually, they're going to combine. We don't want to fight 17, but we can fight 6 pretty easily. We're just going to auto-resolve. There's no need. Yeah, no need to fight that. Not the best loot, but uh, like I said, we're just mostly trying to get get some, uh, some influence for a mercenary contract. Let's get this group of 19. It seemed like the loot was a lot better for villagers, so I don't mind picking them. All right, what do you got? Only one this time. Only one uh, ranged unit. Right, let's go ahead and let them charge in. Ooh, somebody actually got a kill with the polar with the uh, javelin. It's interesting. And our <laughs> oh man, our horse just tanked a shot. Looked like it did literally zero damage. All right, we're looking for people that are turning their back or don't have a shield like that. This guy's bending down to pick something up. That's a mistake. This guy's trying to throw a javelin. Oh, wow. He just bowled through all those guys. That was crazy. Let's go around the other way, actually. I think it's probably easier for us to do... I don't know. What is this? Counter... No, this is... Yeah, counterclockwise. Oh. High tier guy down. There's another one in there, though. Yeah, they don't really stand a chance against cavalry. I bet you they would do pretty well if we were on foot, though. Maybe not right now, because we've killed almost all of them, but... We should try it one of these times, maybe. Oh, man, they just got destroyed. Completely destroyed. I wonder if anybody even took any damage there. I don't think they did. Another four influence. Quite a few prisoners. And some decent loot. Look at that. Yeah, I like, like the boots. We don't get too many good boots. And some shoulder. We'll definitely need shoulders. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Yeah, gloves, 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 and boots. And again, on the civilian gear, everybody's getting it. Actually, did anybody? Yeah, actually, Magnus took a big hit. Hans took a medium hit. Not too bad. Let's, let's go ahead and target these easy groups. And we should probably head back to town. Sell some of the stuff. We're, we're pretty overburdened right now. They're not overburned. We have a ton of prisoners. Oh, somebody got injured. Yeah, he was already he was already uh, damaged, so that makes sense. Ooh, a masterwork iron spatha. Very nice. You know, I think we have a herding penalty. Yeah, we do. We got two sumter horses, which we don't need. Actually, you know what? We can probably chop them up. <laughs> Sorry, horses. You are now food. I was going to say we could let them roam free, but that's not how we roll. The Vikings. 
Now this one, I think tracker is probably the one we should do. Maximum track spotting distance is also really good. It's it's even better now that movement speed is is less for everybody, because we still it doesn't reduce our sight range, but it takes longer to engage. So that means we'll have even more time to react. Increased track detection chance will also help increase the leveling of scouting. Yeah, normally I would recommend taking the campaign movement speed, but let's do this one for now. I, I like the idea of that. 20% spotting distance is just huge. So let's head back home uh, to a, yeah, one of these friendly towns rather. And these guys are paying good money for prisoners. So we're already right off the rip, almost 1600. And we've got much better shoulders, uh, or is it though? 15, 18. So it is better, but it sells for a lot more. It's interesting. These boots are better. We'll keep that. We have literally no arm wraps, so we will keep these. We'll keep one of them anyways. Oh, lovely. I didn't realize. <laughs> I should probably look there first. They don't have any money, so we can't really sell it here anyways. Ooh, there's a really good chess piece here. Oh, this is Empress Zoe. We're <laughs> we just beat up the Empress. Oh, it's our, it's our, <laughs> it's one of our companions. We could just let him level up. So he's getting one-handed and athletics. Oh wow, we just kicked, we we kicked him for forty-four damage. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but pretty cool. We got the armor. We got a ton of levels on Magnus. He actually leveled up his main level as well, not just uh, the skills. So let's see how well he did. Oh, Helga actually leveled up as well. Let's do that while we're here. So this is going to be her final athletics point. That'll put her at 159. And yeah, Magnus is the one that leveled up there. So that gives us level 8. He's actually tied with Ragenvald. And again, we're going to put this into... Actually, no, we haven't done his... Yeah, he was our scout. Let's go ahead and put it into Vigor. I think that's, that's the right call. Final point in athletics that puts us at 163. And of course, we've got that really nice armor. So let's see what that looks like. Doesn't really match the decor, but I mean, look at that armor, though. <laughs> I don't really care. That's crazy. 60 arm, 62 leg, and 100 body. Yeah, we're we're a literal tank now. A lot of upgrades down the line. Let's see. A little bit on the civilian side, too, so that helps. And let's go see what we have left over. Still have the shoulders. Yeah, the arm wraps, the boots. So we get a full set for whoever comes in next. Oh, not quite a full set. We're missing the body. Okay, did it again. So no, <laughs> these these people don't have money. I think I was already here and tried to sell to them. Yeah, I am losing my mind. Yeah, I've noticed trying to keep track of leveling up people and doing all this stuff on the side does get a little bit distracting for me. Um, it's I mean it's not a big deal, but it is going to cause me to make more silly mistakes like that. So let's go ahead and let these shoulders go. We'll do it again. These guys do have money, so. Not too much, a little under two grand. Uh, there's a tournament here, so we'll wait a little bit. Southern Helm, another Helm. We should at least see what kind of armor it has though, because if it's better than one we're hanging on to. And that looks pretty good, 120. Yeah, especially if we got our own people in here. Like I see Magnus in there. I don't see anybody else, but we can, we can help Magnus level up. We got him pretty leveled up there. I think it was like four or five. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. It had really good armor. Well, it's actually not an upgrade for any of these people. But 110 it is. And same thing right here with 100. So almost everybody's right at about 100. Yeah, now we have two of these things. We'll just keep the plumed one. They're the same armor rating, so we don't need two, I don't think. And yeah, we hit 175 perk. Well, let's do that. So they're... Party leader, party leader, and party leader governor here. So I would probably troops and party gain 5% more experience or start battles with plus 5 morale. Let's do this one. Plus 8 morale is decent if you're outnumbered, but uh, this one you get two perks. So we'll do that one. And we'll put the final perk into scholarship. And look at that. We In just one tournament, we took Magnus up to a full level. That was really fast. So now he's level 9. That's pretty crazy. So let's start working on his pole arm. 35 puts him at 65. All right, let's head up to... Ooh, let's take these guys, actually. And we actually did get an injury there. I wonder if they were still injured. Yeah, maybe let's go heal up to full health. 
after we take one more. Can't turn that down. Nope, Han's injured again. All right, let's go heal up for real this time. Not getting any money for this. 32 for these guys. And there's a tournament here. We got to wait for... Yeah, a couple people need to heal up, so let's just wait. Ooh, interesting. Shoulders. We'd love to start getting some boots, too. Boots and hands, because we, we rarely get those. We got some armor out of it. We got a lot of levels for Magnus. Magnus. Oh, wow. So we actually gained two levels. He was at level 9, I believe. Yeah, I think so. And then level 10, he gets two. So we got three focus points to spend for this guy. Man, he's probably really expensive now. Yeah, our, our wages are going through the roof with only eight people in the party. These are mostly party leaders, so we'll just pick the one that's got governor because he could actually use it at some point. And then athletics, we're picking endurance. So that'll put him at uh, three. And what are we going to do here? I think we're going to do all pull arm. We'll max that out. So 90 puts us at 155. And let's go ahead and wait. Like I said, I we want these people to all heal up. So let's just wait a little bit. Yeah, that should be good enough. 84%. Take some easy fights. We got to earn some money again. Yeah, let's start heading that uh, towards the enemy to the east. Surprise, this, this war is going on for quite a while. All right, they want to give up. We'll take them into the party and we'll just donate them. Let's go here and donate them to the garrison. That should give us some influence. Yeah, one. Yay, all one. Better than nothing, I guess. And we got a bookkeeper here. So we could buy a book. We could ask scholarly questions. Yeah, we don't have enough money to buy books right now anyway, so. Yeah, we'd like to pick up more people. We've only got eight. And fortunately, Sver Haftrusen is here. So let's... Won't be too expensive. Yeah, 1900. That's sounds about right. And yeah, let's go ahead and outfit him. Oh, yeah, you look good right off the bat. Definitely not riding a mule, though. And yeah, the one thing he is lacking, though, is the body armor. Fortunately, he does get some from the shoulder pads. And then as well, on the civilian, we're going to be lacking a bit on that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get him a mount. Man, they're just... Nobody has um, harnesses. Pretty interesting. These guys are all so slow. Let's do the 44 Batanian hobby. Now we could start spending money if we wanted to. Let's see how much the armor is for like a decent pair. Or a decent set, rather. Yeah, they're they're pricey. They're not even that good. To get decent ones, you're spending, you know, 20k. Like even this one's not that good. That one's 11 grand and it's barely better than what we have. Yeah, it seems like tournaments is a pretty good way to get <laughs> to get armor. I mean, we have so much money stashed away in our armor. All right, so we're at nine. We're not quite. We're one away from the point where we will get disorganized state. So it's a little tricky if we want to do another one. Let's see. Fluted helmet with mail. So we do need another helmet for the next person. So let's do it. Yeah, these are getting really easy now. So the helmet did get used up and we got that uh, <laughs> the steel plums helmet doesn't seem to want to go away, but that's that's fine. Ooh, nice. We got 225 athletics on our main. And that's going to give us either plus one focus into throwing. Or it's going to give us decreased fall damage and 50%, uh, sorry, 50% less fall damage and kick damage is doubled. This is a tough one. Uh, we're probably not going to be using throwing too much, but it would be nice to have that. Kick damage doesn't really make that big of a difference. Fall damage would be nice to have, although... If we don't play like an idiot, we probably won't take full damage. So I think probably strong arm is going to be the pick here. I do usually go strong legs, but let's do this just because it gives us extra focus points. Yeah, I might as well. We use throwing once in a while, especially in tournaments. All right, let's go cause some trouble. I think what we'll do is we'll take a couple laps around them. Let's not take any prisoners. Let's just take loot. And these guys were just going to, yeah, we'll skip the prisoners. We'll take the loot. Actually, let's head south. We got more opportunities down there. Ooh, I like that. The fake raven. Looks like he's making a beeline right for the for, te, for Lycaron. Yep. Yeah, we can't take him on, but let's see if this guy will pop out again. No, he's just some villagers. There's nine of them. Yeah, we can take this on. But I think on this one, let's let's try dismounted. All right, never mind. They decided to back up, so let's not take forever to fight these guys. There's actually 11 archers this time, so let's let's actually fight them. Yeah, I don't really want to. 
don't want to risk going into these guys. We'll at least take the archers out and then we can dismount maybe. Yeah, let's just pick off the archers. It should be pretty easy. They're all lined up for us. Yeah, rushing into that big infantry formation is not really the smartest. I wish we could tell them not to do that. That would be ideal. Actually, let's let's do this. I think we're in a good enough spot. We can just back up. Pretty much the archers are down. Oh, this guy's... You should be able to handle an archer on your own. Oh, and maybe not. Alright. Sver, the new guy, did go down, but he didn't have a saddle. We didn't want to drop our two enemies. We want to drop this big thing. Alright, let's not fight these guys 1v1. Let's get in a better spot here. There we go. Alright, we'll give the charge command. I kind of want to see how well we perform here. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. That didn't last very long. Right, they're getting kills, but they're going to have a hard time catching up with these guys, so let's just... We'll do our best Walking Dead impressions here. Interesting. So they have their shield up. And I believe we still get XP if we hit the shield. Oh, we don't want to hit them there. Yeah, there we go. Hit him in the shield. How does that work? <laughs> These guys can't catch him. Oh, wait a second. They just got XP for hitting their own guy. <laughs> They're hitting their own guy's shield. That's hilarious. All right, we got one in injury, and that's our new guy, which is fine. He was trying. We didn't. He's not really equipped. We, we do need to get people saddles. Probably get them better mounts as well. And yeah, no prisoners. We want to take as much loot as we can. And actually, let's do... Yeah, see, there's there's still quite a few upgrades for people, even, even though we're killing mostly looters and peasants. Riding 150, we're obviously going Mounted Warrior because we don't uh, plan on using any any bow and arrow or, or crossbow. And we got to wait a little bit for Sver, but that's fine. Strom also is pretty low, but I think we can probably still fight even with, with them injured. Oh yeah, this is... Very, very lopsided. Traders. I'm kind of curious. Let's talk to them. No, we can't trade with them. And they have really, really good troops, it looks like. Or at least just significantly more than we do. All right, we can take on some more bandits. Ooh, there we go. Strom injured again. So we might have to back off till these guys are healed up a little bit. We can just stalk these peasants for a little bit. We're not at full health, but... Probably good enough to at least hold up a shield. Ooh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, let's not fight those guys. Let's just take out these small bandits. We gotta keep stacking influence so we can uh, pay off our wage. Yeah, no injuries. Less than two influence this time, though, so it is kind of going down. Maybe we gotta fight more than six. And these guys are honed in on us, it looks like, so let's back out. All right, they're backing out. That's good. And finally, we hit level 25 scholarship. So this allows us to read books. Not that we have enough money to do it, because it's extremely expensive. But when we do get to that point, we'll at least have that leveled up. Now, our newbie did just level up. So that's his uh, level 2. Let's go ahead and put that into one-handed. Ooh, my Zaya just fell. So our enemies are expanding. Which is good, actually. We can probably raid some of these out here. Oh, yeah, the north. North is looking very thin. And they're kind of disconnected. At Atreon, well, it's being sieged. They might take it back, but... Yeah, they're looking real thin. Baltican, uh, how is this still standing? They're, like, completely isolated. They could get picked off pretty pretty easily. 
Oh, we just got peace. Hopefully they don't cut our mercenary contract back too much. That was a big money maker for us. All right, one bandit group down, two bandit groups down, no injuries. I think we've got enough health. Yeah, we're most people are at 60, so we should be in good shape. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do now. We don't have a lot to pick off. I guess we just stick to bandits and competing in tournaments. Yeah, it's not much. It's a couple influence each time, but you know, we're traveling that way anyway, so I guess it makes sense. And this arena has got more shoulder pads. Can never have too many of these things. Quick and easy, we'll take the cape. Yeah, a lot of upgrades on that cape. A lot of people don't, we, we don't get too many of them, so we see pretty good upgrades from that. And actually, we should probably offload a few things. Yeah, we're getting getting a little heavy, especially if we sell the Sumters. Actually, we need to get rid of a mule even. Oh, they do have, they do have some horse armor, but man, it's expensive. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the cheap stuff, but wherever it is, it ain't here. Now, these shoulder... These shoulders are the exact same armor as these, but this one's worth 1300 so we're going to sell that. Not too bad. We got 5k from that. Oh, they don't have enough. Oh, you know what, though? They don't have enough, but let's at least buy some, some horse armor out of it. That's fine. So they'll still make a little bit. We'll still make a little bit of money, and we'll get some horse armor. So now one of our guys has a little bit better. All right, let's keep picking people off. And actually, since we're here, let's go ahead and take out this bandit hideout. Yeah, we can take... Yeah, we're one short of max, but I highly doubt we need anything, to be honest. We were clearing these bandit hideouts out with... I think we had like three or four. We were just cleaning house. Stump the lance. Now, they do have... Oh, actually, they have ranged units here. Yeah, the Arabletria, the crossbow guys. Let's deal with them. Honestly, we should probably just let our guys handle it. Let them get the XP. We'll pay we'll play body blocker. Oof. <laughs> Actually, let them have it, boys. Okay. Okay, hold fire. You guys don't know how to switch. <laughs> they keep their ranged weapon out way too long. Ooh, one tapped. All right, another crossbow men. Hopefully, when nobody gets shot. All right, now we got range. Let's let them throw this stuff now. Ooh, Helga got shot. Oh wow, Ragnvald. Let's, uh, I, yeah, I feel like letting them go range is probably not a good idea. For some reason, they don't do very well when that happens. Alright, get our two-handed out. Let's take this dude out. Look at that face shield, man. Looks like uh, Jason. Yeah, we'll take a 1v1. We could completely mop these guys up if we fought them. Uh, let's get some two-handed skill in here. Oh, wow. He's pulling out the big one. <laughs> Can't stay on his feet with this gigantic warhammer. All right, we got one injury, but wow, Trigva, six kills. Nobody else, nobody else got kills. I wonder why he's getting so many. And look at the influence, though. This is huge. Yeah, we should probably do more of these. We will take the prisoners here because we're not too far from a town. Ooh, we get a heater shield. Those are really good. And they they're paying decent money, twelve hundred. And for sure, there's going to be upgrades there. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, the heater shield went right to Magnus next in line. So that was a really, really good upgrade. Another two grand on top of it for selling all that. And we got quite a bit of uh, mercenary contract wage coming in too. So like I said, we, sh we should have no problem getting to 200k fairly quickly. And then I would feel a lot better about expanding. 
I think this is Vlandian. Yeah, he's Vlandian. So let's hang out a little bit. Maybe let him get up to like 50%. Got a couple upgrades while we were healing. And it looks like Hans hit level 4. So we'll cap him out on Vigor and one-handed. That'll put him at 151. And I know I heard somebody else. Yeah, here we go. Rigva. Very nice. So we're going to put point into Endurance. He's capped out there. Let's start building up the pull arm, or continue building up pull arm rather. Puts us at 128. And actually, there's one more Bjorn. Bjorn hit level eight as well. So again, endurance capped out everywhere except for pull arm. So let's do that. 129. All right, and 50%. I think that's good enough. Let's roll with it. And hopefully, we don't have to wait too long for war because this is uh, we'll, we'll be able to sustain for sure. But I think making money is much easier during war. We got a lot more targets. But I am I am very happy with the the progress we're making on on the people leveling up anyways. If you just keep an eye on our our daily wage, I mean that's that's the number one factor you can tell that we're making good progress. Right, let's dump these guys. We don't need them. We got plenty of room. We don't need to sell stuff too often. So let's hold off on that. What we could do is could do some smithing. Let's see if they have hardwood here. Not really. Uh, let's head south. We haven't gone to Vostrum. And we'll take an easy auto resolve. And we will, again, we'll take the prisoners since we're in peacetime. And another easy auto resolve. Ooh, wait a second. We got an injury. What happened there, man? All right, let's keep making, making our way down. And lovely, there's a tournament. A cataphract helmet. That should be pretty good. 114, it's actually not that good compared to a lot of the other stuff we're looking at. Oh, wait, we're the last guy left. That's not good. No, we're dead. Well, mission failed. <laughs> that was a crappy helmet anyways. We didn't want it. All right, let's heal up. Uh, Yeah, let's let him heal up a little bit. 77 is good enough. Let's go. Actually, we need to keep checking for those harnesses. Yeah, nobody's got it. This is crazy. I'm wondering if they sell them at the, uh, the stud farms. Maybe we can check one of these out. And the Empire is just pushing so hard. Look at that. Temna Castle, Shabal Zimmer... They've taken over more than half of the Northern Empire. Can't remember if they start with Poros or not. Yeah, I think they do actually. So they probably didn't push too much into the West, but uh, let's check Danustica. We'll go up a little bit and then we should probably head back to our, uh, our employer's land. Yeah, still no saddles. I'm, I'm curious if something's broken with that. We do have a mod called Open Source Armory uh, for sad saddlery, saddlery. So I'm wondering if that's just not working. Because to get zero saddles is, is a little it's a little strange. But we'll sell these guys. 1100 for the for the prisoners. And we're just like that. We're right at 150k. And we're still be able to maintain nearly 200 wage. We should probably work on getting somebody to handle Stuart for us. Maybe that'll be our next companion. And then after that, we just need an engineer, which, you know, it's not that important for quite a while. But we will definitely, it will be very important at some point. 71% on the lifestyle. Man, that is just so slow. I wish I knew how to boost it up faster, but this is um, three years in and we're still not there yet. Now let's see what kind of, how much food do we have anyways? I'm kind of curious. So we've got 13. I don't know what the max is, but that's probably pretty close to it. So I think taking on a, a Stuart would be a good idea at this point. And uh, as luck would have it, we run into a Stuart companion. And by luck, I mean I created one. Let's ransom these prisoners real quick, and then let's take a look at uh, this gentleman. So he's a wee lad. He's got no hair. He's got a gigantic scar across his, uh, the, the middle of his face. His name is Firsted Phil Johnsonson, and he is a good steward. So we're going to take him into our party. A little pricey. I don't know why. I mean, if we're paying per ounce, this dude's probably the most expensive one. But let's get our wee man sorted out here. Well, not too bad. Yeah, it looks like both of you guys are going to need some chest, uh, some body armor soon. And we'll buy him a Midlands Palfrey. We can't really buy... Man, the, yeah, I don't know why. There, there's stuff that shows up once in a while, but it's super expensive. Uh, for the saddle, I mean. So expensive. And for the weapon, we do have... Fortunately, we do have a shield for him. We've got a club. Actually, we've got a Calretic Mace. A nice oval shield. And some throwing darts. So now one thing we do have to be very cautious about is getting into battles because our troops, uh, we were over 10, so we do get disorganized state now. So that will play a factor in 
into engagements that we take. Let's head back to Amatatis. I kind of want to see what's going on there. Maybe help them out. Thank you.